Hello everyone and welcome back to Missouri Grown Carolina Home. I'm Katie. If you are new here, we've got Callie here too. We're going to do our Walmart pickup haul and then we'll show you Aldi next. I spent $194 at Walmart and mainly because of that stuff back there. I decided not to go ahead and do Sam's. Um, I need to, but I haven't yet. So I just picked up what I was going to get at Sam's at Walmart this time. So starting in the back, we had to get diapers, and I did that because Aldi has been hit or miss, and I'm tired of needing them, going there, and them not having them. So I went ahead and got diapers from Walmart. I got some wipes, too. Yep. Down there is a the big box of wipes. And some toilet paper. Toilet paper, that's right. And some more toilet paper. That's paper towels. So... Diapers, wipes, toilet paper, and paper towels. You can already tell that's probably where the most of my budget went this week. That stuff's expensive. We got some more bathroom cups for Callie. I'm trying to do the stuff that's um, non-food first, which isn't a whole lot, but some. I got some Lysol wipes, or great value Lysol wipes. I got a new suet feeder. I'm going to try this one out. This is a double suet feeder. Something keeps crawling up my banister on my front porch. My, it's completely disgusting now, covered in mud. I'm going to have to go out there and clean my porch. But And they keep tearing off my suet feeders. And I can't tell if it's because we have feral cats around here. I can't tell if it's a cat or maybe a raccoon. But whatever they're doing is they're climbing up my banister, jumping on my suet feeder, tearing it down and breaking it, and eating my suet out of that. I mean, unless there's, like, a, a giant bird stealing this in the middle of the night. I don't know what's going on. I'm half tempted to get a trail cam to see what's coming on my porch. But, anyways, I got a more expensive suet feeder. This was, like, 7 bucks. I'm going to see if that one will keep. Because my birds are coming looking for their food. And it makes me so sad to watch them kind of fly around out there like, wait, where's my food? I've gotten them used to me feeding them, so I need to get that. I need to get that up, so Brian will probably help to help me with that. Hopefully, nothing will tear this one down. With that, I got four things of suet. Two of them will go in this feeder, and then I've got one other feeder that they haven't torn down, and I needed some of that. This I needed some deodorant. I'm a little worried about. So when I got it, the cap was not all the way shut. It's shut now, and I put this thing back on. Well, it just did it now, too, for me. This little seal protector thing came off with the cap. And I'm like, okay, maybe somebody just did the sniff test. I'm looking in there to make sure there's, like, no fingerprints. I don't see anything. I think it'll be okay. I mean, it doesn't look like it's really up or anything, so that scares me. Stuff like that scares me to death. I mean... There are people out there with bad intentions. I know that. But what probably happened is it was somebody probably just smelled it in the store. So that's okay. I think I'm, I'll am i be fine. It'll be all right. So anyway, I got some more deodorant. Is that it that you guys can see as far as non-food? Looks like it to me. I got Callie some of these ranch um, Doritos Walmart brand. I got some more tortilla chips. We used them all. My sister just came and visited us, her and her family. So it was my sister and my brother-in-law, my niece and my nephew. And they they were here for two days. And it was so much fun hanging out with them. And we, we had a big taco night. So all my tortilla chips between that and leftovers were used up. So I needed to replace my tortilla chips. We had fun, didn't we, Callie? Did you have fun playing with your cousins? Yeah, I really had fun. I, I really enjoyed our visit. It's been I, it's been um, five years since I've seen my sister. So, yeah, it was, it was nice to see him. Got, I got Brian and Callie some more of their pretzel pieces. Okay. We got some jelly for biscuits. or That's strawberry topping for your waffles. You're the best mom ever. Thank you. I normally make strawberry topping like just with strawberries and sugar. And that's what Brian and Callie like on their waffles. 
But I saw this strawberry topping and I'm like, oh, I wonder if they'd like that if I heated it up just a little bit and put it on their waffles. Brian might, but I think Callie will. And you know what else you can put this on? Biscuits. I guess you could put it on a biscuit. Ice cream. Like, you know how Culver's does? We need to get some vanilla ice cream, don't we? Well, I didn't do that this time, but we'll have enough. So, yeah, I got them that to try. I bet that, well, no. I bet Silas would like it. Everest can't have it. She can't have strawberries. We'll probably try her again on strawberries maybe in a couple months and see if it still breaks her out. But it, strawberries right now break her out. I got some dill relish for next time we have burgers. Uh, Brian wanted some of these cheese crackers. He's been liking those for his snacks. I also got him some more cheese for his work snacks. For 4th of July, we're going to do chicken and hot dogs. So I got some hot dogs. Some more cream cheese. One of this will be for when I make face dog food. And the other one will be for when I make um, cream cheese cookies. I saw this dill pickle. Dill fried pickle dip. I don't know what you... Well, I thought you... I don't know. Now I'm confused. Sports bar. I don't know what that's all... Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's a dill pickle dip. I guess you dip chips or vegetables in it, and it looked really good. And I love fried pickles. Like, I'm not that big on... Kelly, don't turn that on while I'm doing this. Okay. I'm not big on actual pickles, but fried pickles, yes, I love those. So I thought I'd try that. Yeah, you can try it too. I got the kids some donuts. You can see there's some missing. They enjoyed those on the way home. Normally, I either stop at McDonald's and get them breakfast or I pick them up donuts. And this time it was donuts. That was the cheaper route and they all enjoyed them. I got the twins some yogurt. Hot dog buns. I saw this drink mix. You throw this in some water. Grape, strawberry, and cherry nerds. I thought Callie would like this. Um, and I thought I'd like it too. So, um... Yeah, I got that for us to try. Callie asked for orange mints, so I got her and I those. Some chicken. I got two packs of bacon because last week we ran out just having one. Callie asked for some shredded hash browns, so I got her those. And I got the twins some cereal bars and Pop-Tarts and some of those donuts. Some milk. Two things of whales because one hardly lasted us a week. And then I got this uh, coffee creamer to try. This is Almond Joy that I have not tried yet, but it looked really good. So that is it for $194. Very, very expensive. But like I said, that is the majority of it. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this part. And on to Aldi. Bye, friends. <laughs> Okay, here's Aldi. We spent $78 there. And I will, sorry, I just had a ad or something pop up on my phone, so I had to click off that. So anyways, I will show you what we got at Aldi. I got some water, a couple things of chips, the cheese curls and original chips. I've been wanting to try these street corn um, chips for several weeks now, and I finally just went ahead and got them. Um, I've never had street corn before, but every time I see it or see somebody on YouTube make it, it looks really good. So, I'm going to give that a try. I will probably be the only one who tries that. Some grape juice for the kids. Also, some fiber bars and uh, dipped peanut butter chewy bars. They love those. Got the kids some more crackers. I picked up some of their refrigerator mac and cheese uh, for 4th of July. That stuff's pretty good. Silas and Callie like French toast sticks, so I got them some more of those. They only had a couple more boxes of these, so I got one more box. Hopefully next week they'll have them again, but we'll see. They are a limited time for some reason. They should carry these year-round because they are so good. The egg and cheese and Callie and Brian really like those. On the meal plan next week is lasagna, so I got some... Um, I'm literally looking right at it, and I can't think of it. Garlic bread, some sharp cheddar, mozzarella, and American cheese. That's pretty much staples for us. I needed some quart storage bags and paper plates. Picked up some bread for sandwiches. Uh, Brian's pickle packs that he takes to work. 
some ground beef for Faith. I also picked up some biscuits to make for Brian's work breakfast. And then Callie asked to get some cinnamon rolls. I got those for her. Just some of these Rally's fries. And then a dozen of eggs. That's it. So that was very, very fast. Easy. Easy to spend $78 there. But anyways, yeah. That's it. So I hope that you enjoyed this haul. And I hope that you stick around if you're new. And until next time. Bye, friends.